Ladies and gentlemen, we are two weeks away from the Royal Rumble right here on the WWE Universe Mode here on Peter Chow Games. Thanks for joining me. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe to Peter Chow Games. A lot of these videos are going to be coming up as Bray Wyatt absolutely torments Mark Henry and is showing the entire world why he is the eater of all worlds. Now, I, I, there, there's a point to all this. I feel like I'm making this video because not only to obviously document my progress in the universe mode in WWE 2K16, but I want to talk about Vince McMahon's obsession with bigger men. This obviously includes the likes of Mark Henry. This includes the likes of Bray Wyatt, Andre the Giant, Hulk Hogan to a certain extent, John Cena is definitely no small man. But in terms of actually speaking about bigger men in the WWE, there are some inherent issues with pushing big men. You have to actually be committed to pushing a big guy in the WWE. If you're not, they're going to end up like a Vladimir Kozlov and then immediately get released soon after. Or you're going to become like a joke, like the great Kali. Andre the Giant was never represented, much like the big show wearing diapers and shit. He wasn't, he wasn't into that. Andre the Giant was always huge. Bray Wyatt, to a certain extent, has been booked poorly, and that's really kind of the only thing that has been really kind of holding him back from becoming a mainstay, as Bray Wyatt gets the victory over Mark Henry. Mark Henry is also another guy who has actually been treated quite poorly. And the thing is, is that he's going to continue resigning and resigning and resigning until he can't go anymore. I mean, he has provided, you know, hugely for his family. And, and this is another guy right here. Rusev Fudria. Rusev Fudria is definitely a guy who, you know, had so much potential right out of the gate in terms of coming from NXT. Another guy that you can definitely push to the moon because, you know, Vince McMahon is not only obsessed with bigger guys, he's absolutely, you know, just kind of ingrained with superstars that have a foreign background. Someone they can actually push as a foreign villain, all these for the likes of, you know, someone like a Hulk Hogan or a John Cena to thwart. But not at the speed in which Rusev was thwarted. He came in, he dominated for, you know, probably about a few months. He got into a feud with John Cena, and he lost every single match. Now, wouldn't it have been more effective to have Rusev go over on John Cena and actually establish him well ahead of any other giant in the WWE at the time? Have him just Rusev crush, you know, and then just crush through his opponents. Otherwise, he's going to get into a spot in which he's essentially in a glorified mid-card role. You know, Vince McMahon has an obsession with big men, likes to push them, like a Roman Reigns, like a John Cena, but we need to establish credible threats to those superstars. Rusev Fudria is one of those guys that you can push to the moon and have him be a really good villain for a Roman Reigns to thwart in a main event spot. Instead of, you know, going back... Uh, and retreading older stars, having the, you know, Sheamus, for instance, who his hot peak was back in 2010 when he first defeated John Cena in a match in which, you know, he pushed him off the corner, he fell on a table, it looked like it wasn't even supposed to happen, but it did. Sheamus become, you know, became the champion for a little while, nobody really even, you know, really remembers that reign, you know, that well, to be honest. And then he just, you know, essentially got stuck in the mid card for the longest time, and now he's finally back, uh, you know, as the WWE World Heavyweight Champion in real life storylines, but even in that, that was a transitional phase, and then a week after losing to Roman Reigns for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, guess what he did? The next week, he just decided to fight Dean Ambrose in a steel cage match for no fucking reason? What's that all about? Huh? What is that all about? I'm not getting that, Vince. I'm not getting exactly what you're trying to do with your superstars. I don't fathom your use of giants. If you're obsessed with giants like you claim you are, you need to start treating them with respect. You need to get them in a position in which they are a considerable threat as a villain. So when superstars like John Cena come along and superstars come along like Roman Reigns, they are acting as formidable threats. 
Like when you beat a Rusev or when you beat a great Kali, that means something. When great Kali made his debut in the WWE, Undertaker was the first guy to go, hey, this guy's going to make the company a lot of fucking money, and I'm going to put him over. I'm going to let him pin me with one fucking foot for the one, two, three, and he's going to become a huge star. Now, if Undertaker knew that Vince McMahon was going to take the great Kali character and essentially make him into a joke, uh, into the dancing Punjabi, the, the kissing playboy, whatever that fucking bullshit was, I'm sure Undertaker wouldn't have let him pin him with one foot. No. Undertaker, Mark Calloway, he's a smart man. That's another big guy that I kind of wanted to get into. The Undertaker, one of the biggest guys in the WWE, but still incredibly athletic. He is absolutely an angel on his feet. He is nimble. He goes from corner to corner, he can walk the ropes, and he can work a great match with anybody of any size. It doesn't matter whether he's big, whether he's medium size or small, The Undertaker can go. Now, he actually played both a hero and a villain. And while I can't see Rusev being really a good face, you know, maybe if he drops the whole Russian gimmick because nobody really likes Russians at the moment. Well, Russians like Russians. But, I mean, the thing is, is that Bulgarian Brute needs to step up his game and really destroy every single man in his path in getting back to his former glory of when he was a monster. As he twists and absolutely just torques back on the neck of Stardust here. Pull it back, baby! And there it is. The tap out. Stardust taps out. But this is exactly the reason why they push the likes of Roman Reigns, Rusev, John Cena, over the likes of Chris Benoit, and Eddie Guerrero, and Daniel Bryan. But that's another story. I'll talk to you later.